Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very nice soft glam video for you guys. It's just a tutorial on this makeup look, but um, I really did this with like Valentine's Day in mind. So to me, this is just a very soft date night soft glam look. So I hope you guys um, enjoy this video. I use some oldies, but of course some goodies. Um, but um, if you want to see how I created this look, then keep on watching. Let's get into it. Um, okay, so to start off, um, I'm first going to take this e.l.f. Putty Primer. This thing is a little weird because it's like a, you gotta like stick your fingers in there and do the thing, but it's all right. And then we want like a really fresh face. So I'm gonna go ahead and then take this Believe Beauty primer and you can get this at a Dollar General. And this is just like, glowy nation you see that and I'm just rubbing it in in the cheeks because that's where we want to have our glow so even though it's like super strong once you actually put it on and rub it in it's not like too insane it's it's a good a good measure I would say and then for foundation I'm gonna take this one I love this foundation both in its matte formula and in its dewy formula. And this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy one. Everyone used to be all about this foundation. Um, I wanna say, well, at different points in time. Um, and so I, I was so, myself was also a fan. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a go. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with two Concealers, I'm going to go in with the pink, which is the Essence Color Correcting, and with the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I used to always use the pink shade for um, brightening, and I was like ride or die for it for a very, very long time. But then I kind of... Um, I don't know, I waned off of it a little bit with some of these more full coverage concealers. And now I kind of want to get back into it again. Because I do think that the, the pink just gives a really nice brightness. I've got to admit, this e.l.f. concealer is really, really good. Because it's not super drying on the skin. And then for the under eyes, I'm just using the Cream Shop Ultra Matte Translucent Powder. And I'm just going to use that for the under eyes. For all over the face. I'm going to go ahead and do the Maybelline Fit Me in medium light. Light medium. Put a little bit of that all over my face. For whatever reason, with um, powders that I'm putting all over my face, I love to use this Makeup Forever brush. It just does a really good job of not picking up too much product so we don't end up being too cakey. And just blends everything out really seamlessly so there is our base I always like to start with a pretty straightforward base that really helps out <sighs> going through it um, now, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera and then we'll be right back in a second um, but let's go ahead and Move on to the eyes, which is what I always do. I don't know how anybody else does it, but that's how I do it. Um, and a primer that I've been using is the P. Louise Base. I don't know why I'm stuck on this. I need to find another one. Leave down in the comments if there's any other primers you've been using 
that you are obsessed with. No. And this is a little bit of a sticky base and it's very creamy. A little goes a long way. And I'm just going to take my brush with really like any leftover powder from setting my face and just set the eyelids. And we've got like a very clear base for the eyes. And now I thought I was going to throw it back. Throw it back. Okay. And I thought that a really good option for this Valentine's Day Glam would be the Too Faced Peach Palette. Um, I love this palette. And the reason why I wanted to go with this one is because it has some very nice pink neutral shades in this area. And I really kind of, because it's Valentine's, I love playing with a nice pink. So that's what we're going to do. Y'all all up in my business now. Hi. Y'all can see everything. It's okay though. So I'm just going to take the color Caramelized, which is this a very cute pink. And I would say like any peachy pink color that you can find would be good for this eye look. Because it is sweetheart season. And you just want to softly like blend it. Blend it, blend it, blend it. And this does smell really good. For those of y'all who may not know. And then with a very much smaller brush, like a little detail brush like this. I'm going to go ahead and take the color Summer Yum, which is this like brown, warm brown, super warm brown. And I'm going to take a little bit with this brush and I'm just going to kind of buff this in a little bit. see that just a little bit of warmth and then going back with the candied peach go ahead and buff that out a little bit more so we don't lose some of that pinky shade and feel free to like swirl it all around to create more blendability in the shade or in the colors Bellini with my finger you all already know. And I'm going to bring her in across the lid. Just gives us a little bit of something. Boom. We've got some soft glam happening. Let me get a brown pencil liner because I can like smoke this a little bit more. So as you guys can see, all I did was I took a brown liner. I suggest getting one that has much more a creamier formula so that it's easier to blend out. Mine was a little bit of a challenge and it could just be because of this wet and wild formula. But um, I just wanted to add a little bit of like smoke to it and you know, make it cute. So I'm gonna but. use this Coco Contour and I love the shade Dark Cocoa. It's like a warmer shade. And it's just uh, a good, it's just good. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that to contour. And now for blush. 
I'm going to go ahead and use this guy. He's the Count Me In Super Shock Cheek Shadow. Also with the peachy vibes, I feel. I could be wrong, but I think that this one's good for the peachy vibes. And to give our cheeks a little bit of glow, I'm going to go ahead and take a, like, a highlighting blush. And this is the Catrice Luminice, Luminous, right there. Um, and she does have three shades, including some highlight shades. But she also has this beautiful shimmery shade for the cheeks. I see that just oh, romantic was cute we love her um let me go ahead and add a little bit of the under eye under eye shade here because I feel like we need some under eye glam and I'm just gonna go ahead and take the color summer yum which was that warm it's almost like a terracotta like an undertone and I'm just going to brush it up. And I'm going to add a little bit of liner, but I'm not going to wing it. I'm just going to, like, line the little curve here. And this is just for purposes of lashes. Just a little bit of a wing, barely something or barely nothing. Let's go ahead and highlight, which I'm going to use the Rare Beauty Mesmerize. You guys know I'm obsessed with this. If you don't, that means you haven't been watching my shit. But I am obsessed with this. And I feel like with this blush and the blush highlight, it just gives you such a nice feel <laughs> we're glowing we are mm, she cute she cute and we like how she cute and we like how she cute i'm gonna go ahead and do my lashes because i feel like lashes are really what bring a whole look together so you already know i'm gonna be using my essence mascara i am obsessed it's the real one um, and we'll be back in a moment. Okay, so this is now the look with the lashes. I think it's super soft, super feminine, and like Valentine's Day vibes. I did and I did just do brown, a brown liner, the same one I used for the top I used for the bottom, just to give it a little bit more bam bam. Thank you, ma'am. And now let's finish off with our lips. Okay, so I'm just taking the Sore Lip Pencil, which is like a brown, pinky color. Great, great color. I highly recommend. And I'm going to take Kane's, the NYX Soft Lip Cream. This is just such a wearable color. And it has a little bit of pink to it to give us that youthful V-Day pop. Such a good lip combo. And you can leave it as is or we can make a dressy. Which just kind of depends on your evening and uh, what your plans are. And that is it. Oh, oh, I feel like every time I say that's it, I just I just have one more step to go. Um, I'm going to take the setting spray. Like I said, I want to be dewy. I want to be looking so fresh and so clean, clean. Mm. 
Mm. I swear, every time I do setting spray, I get half my hair. Look at that glow. Girl. I'm really feeling this look. I think it's exactly what I wanted it to be, which is just like a very cute, very soft glam look for the Valentine's holiday. Um, if you're going to be doing anything fun, uh, your girl's going to be staying at home because we already know with COVID, that's really all I can do. But um, if you have a staycation or just going and grabbing, setting a picnic, whatever it is, your heart's content. This is the look I'm going with and I hope you guys enjoyed it. That I, I believe like you could probably recreate this look very easily with any makeup palette as long as you've got some peaches or some pink tones in there. But that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!